All right, and welcome everybody here on in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on on that wonderful platform. We have Gruel Dinosaurs yet again. Um, played this deck a couple of times now, this donation deck from Joyve, and it's pretty sweet. Last time we, we uh, finished with five wins, and um, our deck looked real good, and... So let's try it again. So this is um, a lot faster version of dinosaurs than the Naya dinosaurs that we just played a little bit ago. We're trying to get a lot more haste going on here. The The main thing that's different here is we're playing Otepic Huntmasters, which is a real big part of our deck, making our dinosaurs cost one less and able to give our creatures haste. To go with that, we have our, our regular dinosaurs also. We're going with Scavengers uh, with this one. Um, Instead of Brontodons, uh, we have Shocks and Strikes to be able to throw upstairs. Domri also can find us more dinosaurs. You know, kind of like how we had Vivian last deck, Domri can find us more d dinosaurs. Or it can also add mana to make our uh, give our dinosaurs haste, which is important. And we got Big Mama Galta here that uh, can come down as a 12-12 haste trampler that just ends games right away. So let's smash some opponents. Domri Dinosaurs. Here we go. Domri Dinosaurs. Yeah, freshly. So yeah, you get food based on weekly plans. I haven't I haven't looked up this specific one. The ones I've looked up before have been like pretty pricey. And, like, not really food I can afford, you know, like, all the time. But it looks really nice. Hmm. I think we're going to have to mulligan this. I want to keep, but there's just not a good chance that we get to curve out. Which is what, you know, we need to do. So, Drover adds red mana. But, of course, Drover can die. The problem is, like, keep... So, basically, this is tough. This is, like... This could work out or not work out. If we keep it on top, and, you know, it could be really nice... If we keep it on top and then there's like four other lands underneath, it could just be really bad that we kept it on top. If we put it to the bottom and then it's just a bunch of spells and our Drover dies, we don't get to play them, then it's really bad. I think it's probably safer to keep it on top. Um, but, you know, it could really go either way there. Yeah, it's like 50 to 60 bucks a week. Yeah, that's what I've kind of seen is like um, usually around like $10 a day. Which that would be a huge, a really big percentage of my income. That's still, that's like, that's not something I'm really in the spot to be spending that much on it right now. Um... I don't know what our opponent's doing. They just played Forest Forest. They're not really doing anything else. Hey, Shade Slayer. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that uh, tier one sub there. I really do appreciate that. All right, so we have sub number 18 on the day there. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess I could afford rich people frozen dinners for a little while. Crimson. <laughs> Thanks for those bits before. I don't know if I even want to sideboard, honestly. Like, they're going to be... So they're going to be, like, a green creature deck. We could bring in, like, Lava Coils, I suppose. Um, 
I think our deck is kind of like pretty good here. I'm not sure how good Shock will be. Like maybe I just want to take Shock out and put in Lava Coil. Yeah, actually, that's that's kind of like what we do against like Sultai, like that plan. Let's just do that. Let's just do Shock for Lava Coil. Yeah, it could be could be Gruel Aggro. It could be. I don't know. Is it? It could be like Sultai with having like Jade Lights in hand and keeping Forest Forest with like multiple Jade Lights. Who knows? Ooh. Zan called the Gruel Aggro. Maybe some points towards Zan here. Um, I'm eating a uh, a steamed frozen dinner that's uh, called an unwrapped burrito bowl. Do I just attack and let them get a 3-3? Three, three? Now we'll just wait till next turn with Regisaur Alpha. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So our opponents just got, you know, this looks like a, a newer opponent. Uh, a newer deck that... You know, maybe don't have as many cards on their account and you know playing the cards they have on their account and stuff like that. Uh, no blocks. Our opponent should not be attacking there. Really should not be. <clears throat> this is what I do for a living. I stream here on Twitch. The music working? There we go. Yeah, here every every day um, from three to ten. Eastern time. Hey, photon. Thanks for the bits. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Photon. Got us the the lucky bits with the shamrocks. What? They could just shock my Death Gorge Scavenger. Attack! Alright, so Carnage Tyrant's trade. Um, it's a weird blocking thing of sacrificing yourself, but. Alright, 1 0. We'll take the win. <laughs> Free for Zeta. This is a good time to have the Memorial to Unity. You know, <clears throat> so they're always the best time to play this is turn one. With it being that top land there. Yeah, this is a donation deck from Joyve. Um, we've played this deck twice before and done well with it. Uh, last time we even got a five-win league with it and run it back. <laughs> yeah, so far Grill Dino's performing a lot better than Naya Dino's did. Hey, 
Crimson, Coven getting first and second place. <laughs> For the rich people dinners. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, there's Jade Light, Jade Lighting, some Branch Walkers and Jade Light. I considered Lightning striking the Llanowar Elf there, uh, but figured that they would probably have the ability. Um, oh, I didn't even play my stomping ground first. I meant to play the stomping ground first to be able to shock. One of these things, if they blocked with it. They didn't block, though. I kind of want to strike the land war off now. How they ditched both of those explore creatures. I really feel like they just have... Like they didn't have enough lands. No blocks. I don't know if I was supposed to attack with the scavenger there. I honestly thought they. I, I was kind of like looking at chat and stuff, and I didn't realize that they like find finality to weigh both their creatures. I thought I was going to be able to eat another creature, honestly, whenever I started that attack. Well, that's not how it worked out, of course. Yeah, it's okay, Crimson. Yeah, that's what I saw that. Um, and all, all good. I don't love where we're at here. Hmm. I'm playing this before, like, certainly think our opponent has cast down, right? Like, so I'm playing that before our opponent would cast down the Drover or anything. I like that Savage Stomp draw a ton, though, because Savage Stomp with Carnage Tyrant is awesome. So, I did like that draw. That was a really good draw. All right, so I'm gonna ha I can have this Tyrant trade with... Hmm. No, I think I want to play Reggie. And then I think I want to stomp to make Reggie bigger.
attack with these, and they they can block with like you know a Jade Light and a Branch Walker to take out Carnage Tyrant. But Reggie won't die to a finality now. There is a finality. And they're still taking a lot of trample damage here. The flavor text on Carnage Tyrant. Sun Empire commanders are well versed in advanced martial strategy. Still, the correct maneuver is usually to deploy the giant implacable. Is that implacable? Implacable? I don't know how you pronounce that word. Death lizard. But that is that is actually pretty good. <clears throat> sure, you got all your advanced martial strategy and everything, but we're just gonna just deploy this giant death lizard. Missy Elliott with the tier one sub. Get some hype in the chat for Missy Elliott. Thank you so much. Death Lizards. All right, Force is nice. Now we get to just play this Carnage Tyrant and not have to, um, not have to tap the Drover. No. All right, not hasty. <clears throat> Not hasty Carnage Tyrant, unfortunately. Why play a bunch of little cards? You can just play a big one. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Elliot Smith. They better not have Eldritch Reborn. Just randomly in their soul tie deck. Now I like where we're at. It's time to step out of the stone dwell on what's about to happen. Yeah, I like when we're <clears throat> liking where we're at right about now. This <clears throat> Todd, you make my workday go down quicker and have some entertainment during downtime. Uh, that's a good draw. Attack. That's what I'm here for. Entertainment during downtime. <laughs> no, yeah, thank you so much, though. Missy Elliott Smith, thank you so much. So that's sub number 19 on the day. One more, and we're going to crack open another pack. Did I get that Rivals pack a little bit ago? I feel like I started doing like other things and stuff, and I didn't actually grab that Rivals pack. Oh, we couldn't buy the pack. That's right. There was like this, the store was down or something. That's right. The store was down. It wasn't working. All right, so again, Sultai, all we do is take out the two shocks or two coils. That's what we that's what we've been doing previously. <clears throat> we need to draw a large quantity of Carnage Tyrants again. Drawing a large quantity of Carnage Tyrants was really nice. Let's try to do that again. Um, let's make a Naya Dinosaurs YouTube thumbnail. While we're waiting on our opponent. Naya Dinosaurs.
All right, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right, save this. All right, what do we got? Keepable hand. All right, almost done here. I'll be back here in Twitch. Chat. Once I find this. Ugh. That is a bad commune with the dinosaurs. At least that just means that our... <clears throat> We're leaving all of our carnage tyrants to be back on top. Teacher, hope, hope uh, surgery recovery is going good. They kept one land. Uh, why can't I have those lightning strikes? We need the Drover just to gain two life here. We don't really raise dead our own things. No blocks. Next turn I'm planning on playing Domri, ticking up, and casting Commune. That's my plan. Well, the opponent doesn't have many cards. They must have, like... I guess they mold to five or something. I don't know. They just don't have very, very many cards. Especially for missing land drops. Or I could play Ripjaw. Yeah. Ripjaw's cool. Which all means we get to <clears throat> protect our Domri better. So remember, y'all, we're doing our 12-hour stream tomorrow because we hit our first quip goal. As you can see, we've gotten 10 out of 20 quip referrals so far. Quip is a really awesome electric toothbrush. If you want to step your toothbrush game up, consider going through... Uh, my referral code there and sign up, signing up for a a new toothbrush. If you get a quick, quick toothbrush, you also get a free donation deck as well. Uh, decks that are happening tomorrow, I, I don't have like the whole schedule planned. I know I'm going to be playing Mono Black Zombies. Want Drover out? No, we don't need Drover out. And uh, Grixis discard, Naya Hawali. Gonna play those two. And. Uh, we, have, we have a donation deck for tomorrow. We have two tomorrow. We have Abzan Legends and an Azorius Midrange. Let's, let's see. What can I do with Galta? So playing this makes Galta cost four. Playing this would make Galta cost three. Or no, even less, actually. So yeah, we can do both of these. And I, I think I just want to make Galta a 13-13. Because these things being a little bigger just doesn't really matter that much. Dad, 
to the pool and to the pain. Yeah, play like Sultai, Abzan, or Golgari midrange. That's basically what we just played. Like the the Vraska Tribal was just Golgari midrange that we played earlier today. It was just Golgari midrange with a couple of um, a couple of big Vraskas there. I guess I could have gave the hunt. So yeah, I could have gave Huntmaster haste to give Galta haste. Or wait, should I just give in Galta haste? in general, instead of just making a 13-13? Oh, look at you! Yep, I should have just crashed. Alright, we've, we've cast two commune with the dinosaurs, so we know our bottom eight cards are all pretty whatever. We haven't seen any Carnage Tyrants yet, so I think this minus three, we're gonna find some Carnage Tyrants. <laughs> These go here, those go there. All right, not quite. Um, Allosaurus can fight something though. What do I really wanna fight? They have seven, 11, 12, 13, 14, so like, 10, 13, yeah, they'll have 13 power either way. Okay, so if I, if I kill the Jade Light, they have to triple block with these to kill Galta. I could, you know, of course I could kill the, the Krasis to try to protect Domri more. If I kill Galta, or if I if I kill the Jade Light, uh, we'll just kill the Krasis. Basically, if I kill the Jade Light, they don't get to keep their Wow Growth Walker alive. I could just kill the Wow Growth Walker. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna kill the Wow Growth Walker. Yeah, killing wild growth means that they don't have it like available to gain life potentially like the next turn. Uh, honestly, I think my favorite standard deck right now is honestly the Grixis discard probably. Had good success with that that deck basically all the time playing it and. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking that that deck. All right, so a finality uh, would kill three of my creatures. Would kill their two elves and kill three of my creatures. Leave them with four mana and a bigger crisis. And we have these two. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Nia Legends is definitely one of my favorites, but I haven't had as much success with Nia Le Legends recently and. Have been doing real good with. Dino time. Oh right, Huntmaster has to tell the Registor off of the, to attack. Eh. Pumping up the, the... Pumping that up. I think they're pretty dead. I guess I should I need to hunt master tell give Reggie haste. But it's okay. Like finality doesn't save them. They don't even have the mana for finality. There's there's nothing they can like Jade Light doesn't save them, I don't think. Oh, I don't know, Matrox Metrox. Somebody else was in here just a little bit ago saying that they were having trouble logging in also. 
That was a pretty impressive win of uh, showing like our deck just smashing Sultai uh, two games. To be fair, they did get stuck on that that first land there for a little while, but they were playing their cards and you know like they played all their cards. <laughs> Those dinos need to quit for now. <laughs> they ate up so many explore creatures. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm keeping. Huntmaster is just great. <clears throat> the problem is I'm looking at like turn three Huntmaster, turn four Ripjaw, and then Reggie. Get a stomping ground. Basic mountain. Hmm. I guess I could have led with root, root bound, even though we had Memorial to Folly, just so that if we drew a forest, we could have cast these. Where's the mountain? Alright. What do they got? They're gonna cast down my Huntmaster? They have lots of mana. All right, no cast down. Or at least if they had it, they let me attack with, you know, they didn't cast it before combat where I wouldn't have been able to attack with anything. So even if they just like, just pass the turn next turn, it's a little awkward for us with like the incubation druids being able to turn into three fives. Yeah, Savage Stomp. Yeah, Savage Stomp is a sorcery. Um, so I could, you know, like they could make it like a three-five in response. They just make the other one a three-five. So basically, I, like I was thinking, like if they, um, if they just pass with like both of them, if I Savage Stomp one, they'll just make the other a three-five kind of thing. Crisis. All right, let's have Ripjaw. Um, man, I wish I had one more mana. I wish I could strike and stomp. Let's just attack. And they try double blocking something we can strike and protect our thing. Yeah, you could go Naya that way, add Priest of the Awakening Sun. Uh oh I don't I don't like Priest of the Awakening Sun, sorry. Never mind. That card's not good. Kinjali Sunweek, that card's good. Kinjali Sunweek is good. So yeah, like that's an option for going. Um That's really an option for going Naya is going Sunwing and Trying to stay aggressive. 
Three color aggro decks are a little tougher though, like mana wise of having your different colors when you need them kind of thing. <laughs> Give it double haste. It could have attacked last turn. Yeah, no, I don't I don't care for the best of one format, no. I'm a best of three player. No, you would have only drawn one on the double block of Ripjaw Raptor. The both the Jade Light and the Krasis would deal damage to the Raptor at the same time. And there'd just be one instance of damage happening. <laughs> That's how I get trapped in the speed force. <laughs> All right, Ripjaw, you lived a long, wonderful life. Sad to see you go. Uh, stop. Oh, I guess I should have shocked, because then I could I could activate the memorial and cast shock instead of cast hunt master and shock. So now they do not have the mana to. They don't have the mana to activate incubation druid anymore. been a while since I've heard this song on the playlist. Pawn's in a tough spot. The most likely block is Druid, Trump, Reggie, and double block the 3-3. And I can shock the Choop to keep my 3-3 alive. Yeah, we'll just do that. Get two trample damage in. Oh yeah, the land before time. My brother really liked land before time. My brother's really big into 80s dinosaur movies. He's a huge Godzilla fan. 12 hour stream starts 11 a.m. tomorrow. Nice and early, hope to see y'all then. 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. Be streaming awesome standard stuff all day. Celebrating getting that first quip goal. That's pretty good for the opponent. So I think I take Ripjaw Raptor because it's castable this turn. They have to chump Ripjaw. And then they go to one. And I and I draw a card. I got a tournament coming up in April where top four gets to split a case of the new set when it comes out. Nice. Any good ideas of a deck to use? Um, oh, nice. You used the Naya Value Town last time and won the whole thing. Hey, way to go. Um, I would... Do I even play this? They have, like, another Find Finality. I mean, 
Finality doesn't kill Riptar Raptor, so it doesn't help him, but I guess I'll just get rid of this Chupacabra. Um, the deck I would play if I was playing in a terminal like that would be Grixis Discard uh, for standard. Um, Raptor is still alive. <laughs> I'm not annoyed at all. If you're talking about, like, yeah, if, if the tournament's modern, I don't have a good suggestion. All right, Coil coming in. Shot coming out. Three straight games now over Sultai. Picking up Ws. It's pretty impressive for a dinosaur deck like this that's, you know, usually so weak to, like, Chupacabra and things like that. Um, we've been doing really well with our deck here. It's standard? Okay, yeah. Grixis Discard would be the one that I would definitely recommend. Um, you know, if you're not caught up to date with that deck, you, know, you can go find the, the different replays of Grixis Discard in the YouTube channel. For anybody else out there that's not following the YouTube channel, feel free to give the channel a follow there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Uh, that's another thing that we'll be doing a 12-hour stream whenever we get to 2,000 YouTube subscribers. We're at about 1850. Around there, we're about 150 away. Do you think this deck would be improved by dropping three Drovers and one Galta for a playset of Land of War? No, I do not. I think the Drovers... Um, you know, being able to add either color is good, and they're they're usually three threes. They're usually two mana three threes, like when you have your other dinosaurs out. So they're actually pretty strong, um, as well as being the mana creatures. But Galta is is really important. Galta is is clutch. Oh my gosh, that is the biggest cheer I have ever seen. Whoa. Gatsby, thank you. Wow, thank you so much, Gatsby. Gatsby says, thank you, Todd, for the educational, enjoyable, and entertaining content. Triple E's. That's good. Educational, enjoyable, and entertaining. Yeah. Um... And then continues, chat is really grateful for everything you do for us and our community. Super hype for 12 hours tomorrow. Gatsby, you are so, so, so kind. I, I can't even thank you enough. All right, keeping the Ripjaw Raptor to fill out the curve here, even though we don't have the guarantee of even getting to Ripjaw or these Carnage Tyrants, um, and just kind of hoping our other draws are lands to help fill the curve. And here we go. Opponent with the really slow hand is certainly good for us, our really slow hand. Chupacabra is real strong. They have the double Memorial of the Folly so that even the Chupacabra dies, it's going to keep coming back. Um, really want to draw one more land and get these Carnage Tyrants out on turn 6 and turn 7. Don't mind that so much because we'll just strike that. Of course, we had to do that before we let them untap and just cast the raptor. All right, come on, land drop. Land drop, land drop. Come on, we get that Gatsby luck. Hey, Joive, with a donation. Backing up Gatsby's. There you go. Thank you, Joe. Joive. Thank you so much. All right, I'm going to save the strike to be able to help protect a, a 
Carnage Tyrant that's double blocked. Or triple blocked. Or quad blocked. But we gotta get this donation luck here. Come on, deck. No! Not the Galta. Hey, that Galta's gonna come in clutch later. Just not yet. I guess, yeah, we could have st struck our own Ripjaw just to cycle. We could cycle. But... Um, I want to be able to help protect, like, you know, shoot, like, these Carnage Tyrants that are blocked a bunch. Or I could just kill that WoW Growth Walker. May kill that WoW Growth Walker. We'll see if they have an Explore thing. Good for us that they're kind of stuck on mana. They could be sitting on like jade lights and everything and not being able to play them. Hey, softball wolf. Yeah, they don't have the double green. Carnage Tyrant. Hey, Skyrims. There you go. You get the gifted sub. Skyrims, you better be getting your hype boats in the channel. That is sub number 20 on the day. Santa... Santa Gatsby's got your back. So, 20th sub, we'll be... We will go check. We'll be going and checking after this to see if the if the store works again if if we are able to purchase packs or not click the little smiley face on the right of the message like like the the message box there's a smiley face on the right and then you can get your your favorite emotes out there So they could hostage take her the um Sorry, hold on. Um So they could hostage take her the red store alpha if I go Reggie now. Which would be kind of bad, but I think the upside is still there. I think I'd rather them hostage taker Reggie than hostage taker Galta, I think. The upside is just so high if our opponent does not hostage taker Reggie, one, or two, if we draw lightning strike. Or lava coil. We draw either removal spell. I'm pretty surprised they didn't do any blocking at all. Like, is their plan just to trips block the Carnage Tyrant or something? Yeah. I, I have not been a big fan of, like, Memorial... Uh, in these decks like maybe one memorial. I, I think two memorials is a little overkill. Oh, yeah, take the token. Oh, baby Taking the token All right green source if we get green source we get Reggie. Ooh, yeah, we get Raptor and Galta Thank you for not taking Reggie Boom And that's game Um, five color decks? I feel like I've, I've played five color decks before. I don't remember, necessarily remember a five color deck off the top of my head, but... Whew, four straight game wins against Soltai. One on both, and one on both 2-0. Dude, this Girl Dinosaurs deck is pretty sweet. Just attacking people, you know? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cancel. Cancel. I'm going to try to buy a pack. Cancel. Where's the cancel? Cancel. 
Hooray, cancel worked. Hawkeye, you want to come up here? You want to help out? Give me some luck for the pack? Come on. All right. Pack time. Does it work? All right, it works. All right, so I don't... I think I have everything in Rivals, but I'm not sure. So let's just crack a pack to find out. All right, do we have everything in Rivals now? Okay, it's 20 gems. We do. All right, same thing with Dominaria. I think I have everything, but I'm actually not sure. So let's crack a pack here. Let's find out. Ooh. Ah, we got a mythic. Rawr. Mythic dragon. All right, and I'm cracking open another pack. Why not? Let's get one more. Yeah, that card's great. We had two sub packs to open, but let's let's crack open another one. All right, 20 gems. So <clears throat> All right, we know for sure not to open up more. What? Crimson COVID. You know why. Also, Gatsby, bring it. Wow. That is amazing. Never mind. Now that's the biggest cheer I've ever seen. <laughs> and Crimson Coven and Gatsby, thank you both so, so much. Those are so, so much love. So much love. <laughs> um, let's keep it going. Let's get let's get a couple more packs. Get Nick Salon in it and a Corset 2019. Alright, so Ixalan, we're still going strong. Opening rares. We got a Copala. And poor Merfolk. We thought like Merfolk was going to make a bigger splash in the metagame. And... Ooh, a Spitflame. Alright, so we're still opening up rares with. Ixalan and M19. But same same thing, Crimson. Just like I told Gatsby, I can't really just say thank you enough. You two are both just so amazing. Um, of course, everybody else in here, too. Really appreciate everybody being in here and everything. And Puppy's doing great. She always always trying to eat way too much. Um, but no, she's, she's doing great running around and everything like that. <laughs> I think this is the, the most I've made on any stream day ever in my life it is today with Crimson and Gatsby. Yeah, we can keep that. Drover can fix our mana here. Uh, Scario with the Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in the chat also for our 21st sub of the day. Thank you so much. Um, each bit is a penny, King Toll. Hey, it's me, Casey. Get in on the hype action. Got plenty of room on this boat for some more hype. Welcome aboard, Casey. Hmm. I want Hunt Master. I want this thing down. Get Hasty Ripjaw next turn, and then hopefully Hasty Registrar after that. Oh. Steel Leaf. Steel Leaf. Playing D. All right, 22 subs. Sorry, okay. 
yes, Captain Marvel, definitely worth seeing. Um, really liked it. Uh, it's a feel good movie. It makes it really does. It makes you feel good for sure. Whoa! All right, that thing's big. <laughs> oh. Gatsby says, I am not done yet, Crimson. Matching. That is... That is insane. <laughs> wow. Gatsby just earned the new bit badge, the 50k bit badge. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Okay, how, how happy are you right now? You happy? Um... <laughs> Joey's getting in there too! Um... Do I... Do I attack? I'm kind of thinking I attack. And try to race because... Um, <laughs> Chris is taking that first slot. Yeah. Oh yeah. We're we could play. We certainly need to play another deck after this. So that's why I attacked. As you can see, they all they had to do was play a land, and then their creature is a nine eight and eight toughness. Um, I don't have enough power to be able to block because remember, a Steel Leaf Champion creatures that are power two or less can't block. So like the Hunt Masters cannot block the Steel Leaf Champion. All right, now we have a fortified front that can play some real defense. Man, if we didn't already have a, a scheduled 12 hour stream tomorrow, we need to do another one. This is a battle of big creatures. We need to draw our Galta, Hawkeye. Can you draw our one one Galta out of our 49? And get a two two times twelve hours during tomorrow? Alright, let's go to blockers so we can have this plus Wait, we can go that plus that plus that. And they can only kill two things, right? Yeah, so the only two things die. Because two things are going to die no matter what, so might as well have it be... Like, if blocking with Ripjaw and two more. We're gonna need another boat. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Gas we get that 75k bit badge. We are gonna need a bigger boat. What? Oh, the Nullhide Ferox was attacking me too? Oh, yeah. That's what somebody's saying. Yeah. The. Pun yeah, I did not see that Ferox attacking me. I don't I don't wanna reconnect. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I did miss alright, to be fair I missed that that null hide ferox. I missed that. I did not did not notice that one. Um
This is going to be tough. That green enchantment is, is real rough. Um, yeah, Twitch hype bigger than punt. It's a new wording on Hexproof. <laughs> yeah. What you didn't know about Hexproof. Um, shock gone. This is how we normally... Like, Domri... Domri may not be what I want here. I could need Colossus and just give my creatures plus four, plus two, honestly, to be able to, like, block and everything. Yeah, let's get some Colossuses in here. Dude, we're, we're going to need another, like, at least another 12-hour stream this weekend, huh? With all this hype. Um, here, come here. Sorry, okay. Here, you can come on back. I'm sorry. Alright, we're going to... Um, we can maybe keep this. Yeah, it's a, it's a little slow, but we're going to start throwing Carnage Tyrants down on turn 5. All right, so should we do a 12-hour stream this weekend also? I wanted to have two red sources, which is why I took the stomping ground, even though it dealt me two damage. All right, so maybe Thursday and Saturday. Yeah, my sanity can take it. I can do it. No blocks. Woo! Reggie. Alright, next turn, Carnage Tyrant. Then the next turn, Carnage Tyrant. We gotta get that land drop. Guess I should probably block with Registor Alpha. No, no blocks. <laughs> Crimson, take it back that top slot. Thank you so much, Crimson. All right, so now I get to block with uh, Colossus, so the creature can be a 8-6. All right, and I'm just gonna lightning strike this Thorn Lieutenant, even though they get a 1-1, one, because one, next turn or like next turn they'll be able to pump up that Thorn Lieutenant to be a 6-7. can play more big creatures. Creatures are never ending around here. These are the funnest matchups in Magic, just the big beats. Yeah, these are great.
All right, finally, next turn, we'll have we'll start to be able to deploy these Carnage Tyrants. All right, so new plan. The we have uh, Thursday tomorrow, twelve hour stream for hitting our quip goal, and then Saturday, twelve hour stream. The Crimson and Gatsby. Uh, I don't want to say like memorial, but. Um, invitational? No. I don't know, whatever the correct word is there. Stream. The hype stream. The Crimson Gatsby hype stream. Yeah, this is a battlefield. The Armada stream. Yeah, the, gotta watch out for the Thorn Lieutenant. Good call. Thorn Lieutenant gets to be a 6 7. So Thorn Lieutenant does just tussle with Carnage Tyrant. Which is why Lightning Strike to that other Thorn Lieutenant earlier. Don't know exactly how we get through. It's gonna be a tough one to get through. We just gotta keep playing more things. They got their enchantment thing. It grows their creature quite a bit. 14-14, huh? That's not small. Let's double spell with... Uh, get another Drover out there that can add some more mana. Do I have... Do I have like a good way to break this tie? Not really. I have like another Colossus in the deck. Oh, don't have another armor? Please don't have another armor. Oh no. I did not keep any of the Planeswalkers in. Which is really what really want a planeswalker. We don't have any planeswalkers in here though. Endless gas on both sides, right? Or Regisaur Alphas and Vine Mares. They just look so small. Alright, what if I attack out? I play the Scavenger. Scavenger is a 5... It'll be five power when it's attacking. So they have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blockers. Tyrant, tyrant is e eaten. That's, and then one, two, three, four, five after that. They'll take like seven, 10, 13, 18, 21. Yeah, I think they're dead. I think they're dead. Need to exile a spell to, to pump up the scavenger. Scavenger's five. It gets like the one for whenever it enters and then one for whenever it's attacking. Pretty sure they're dead. Again, so Carnage Tyrant, Carnage Tyrant's blocked. And then they can block one, two, three, four, five other creatures. So they can block like scavenger four Ripjaws and a Reggie. 
So then they take four from Reggie, plus this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 14, plus seven is uh, 21. Because they don't have they don't have more toughness to like than anything else. So yeah, they're dead. They're taking twenty one, at least. Oh right, they can pump lieutenant. Crap. Crap. Uh, no, they can pump lieutenant. They're not dead. I just I just died. Thorn lieutenant pump blocks the other carnage tyrant. So I'm dead. Oh, thank you. Please block like that. Please block like that. If they throw Thorn Lieutenant into front of Carnage Tyrant and block all three Carnage Tyrants with no trample, um, then they have four other blockers and they take out those four and they only take four, eight. So if they block correctly, they're only taking eight, uh, 14, 15, 18. They're taking 18 if they block correctly. So, yeah, if our opponent blocks this perfectly, they take 18. They are not currently doing that. They didn't do it. They need the lieutenant to block Carnage Tyrant to save that other two couple life. They didn't. They blocked Scavenger. All right, game three. That was a good game, right, Hawkeye? Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah, twenty-one, just like I planned it. Because that's that's how I thought. Like that's how I thought they could block it until forgot about them pumping the Thorn Lieutenant there. Um, let's take out another strike. Bring in. That other Colossus. Colossus seemed pretty sweet. Um, and then, yeah, I should probably have some kind of Planeswalker in here, right? Like, Vivian can destroy, like, that that enchantment thing. So maybe we want these Vivians instead of these Strikes. Strikes don't really kill their creatures. So maybe we play the two Vivians instead of two more Strikes. And we'll still have one Strike. And we can kill the enchantment thingies. Or if, like, the board goes like that, we can tick up Vivian to try to win. I actually did not study any math at college. Actually, I had a sports management major. Um, I was just good at math, and so I became a high school math teacher afterwards when I couldn't really get a sports management job that I wanted. All right, with just drew root bound, do I need a shock land? I don't really want to take a shock land here. We have one red source right now. Should probably take a second red source, but we have like that other commune. Drover's another red source also. So let's just take regular land. No, no specific sport. Uh, it kind of focus it, you know, just uh, encompassed all sport uh, from like, um, you know, to like pro sports to even like all the way down to like YMCA kind of stuff, you know, just like all sport in general. Do need another land, unfortunately. Should I take this memorial? And still Colossus this turn. So I can block Lieutenant and Colossus my creature. Jeez. Hmm. Stop.
Spellbreaker comes in against control. Alright, time for a bunch of alphas. Got a bunch of alphas. Now, esports weren't really a thing at the time, whenever I was in college. A while ago. Ugh, one is not very much life. Eleven. So we get to save one dino. No, Hawkeye, you don't get the rest of my burrito bowl. Sorry. It's not cat food. Um. Gonna run us out of alphas. Please just have more lands. All right, I guess we have that card now. So we get to keep a three-three. Again. Basically, just trading an alpha for a ferox. Okay, good. Now I get to have, like, drove her back and everything. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, that doesn't have haste. Okay, it doesn't have haste. That's good. Uh, how do I beat that thing still? Unclear. I need my own Galta? Will I even be able to cast a Galta? Thorn's ability is six. Um. I mean, I just, I'm just like a mana short. I've been just kind of a mana short this whole time. Hawkeye's around 12 or so, 11 or 12, right around there. He's a. A little bit of an old, old cat, an old kitty. I mean, how do I... How can I win this? I mean, the, the fade land just doesn't matter. Um, I mean, I can't beat what's on the battlefield right now, even with this being a 2-3. That's 12-12. I can't, I don't have a body to throw in front of Thor Lieutenant. Or, yeah, I can't even cover up. This is plus four, plus two, so it's only two trample. So three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten trample. Yeah, it doesn't give plus four toughness. It only gives plus two toughness. Like, I can't play Colossus and Coil. Um, right, I know. Even if even if everything blocks Galta and nothing blocks Thorn Lieutenant, I can't get 12 Trample in front of this. Or I can't, I can't get 12 Toughness in front of it. I, I only have 10, 10 Toughness total. I need to be able to play Huntmaster and Colossus. Alright, well, the first loss was my fault. I didn't realize that Ferox was attacking me. The game one loss. Yeah, that was a really good match, though. That was a good, fun match.
I almost threw away the second game, but my opponent thankfully didn't find the correct blocks. All right, Hawkeye, can we get this one now? That enchantment just really beat me down. Steel Leaf Champion plus that enchantment. Beat me down. Yeah, these decks are kind of legit. Yeah, we beat we beat uh, Soul Tie four straight games against Soul Tie. <laughs> yeah, we did have a that was a really epic game too. All right, so Gates, Ripjaw. Next turn, attacking for seven, playing another Ripjaw. These things are pretty big and difficult to gate to blaze. You know, four fives are difficult to gate to blaze. I think I, I think I read that somewhere. I don't know where that was, but I, I feel like I saw that written down somewhere. Four fives are difficult to gate to blaze. Attack. What's this ram? A 5-5? Five five? Ugh, one mana off. Kicking this thing. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to attack, but... Then I decided with like us getting haste with the Huntmaster and stuff, just just go ahead and attack. So they do have um They do have the ability to kill all my other stuff with the Gates of Blaze right about now. Oh, Clarion is the worst. Lifelink also? Come on, that is the worst. Oh, I just made my ripjaw attack real bad. Wow, oh, Clarion was the worst. Yeah, this ram is stupid. I agree. Like, wow. Why do they just have like this three drop sheep be bigger than di like these dinos? Come on. Like, come on. It's a sheep. How can a sheep be bigger than the biggest dinosaurs? Plus Trample, plus Vigilance, yeah. So our opponent should, should just assign all 9 damage to the Carnage Tyrant, so I don't get to draw a card. I don't even know if in Arena if you can do it though, like if there's... much about that. All right. Ugh. That was the card I couldn't afford them to have. Man, this is... That's something else. So, I need these things. Spellbreakers gaining haste is probably pretty good here. Shocks and strikes don't seem like they matter that much. 
I mean, though, I guess a strike could kill a sheep plus, like our, our attack plus a, sh a strike could kill a sheep. The enchantment, like, Vivian for the enchantment, that's just not the, that's not the game that we can, that's not the game we're playing with this deck. We can't sit back and try to compete in a late game. We, we have to kill our opponent as fast as possible. We can't, like, try to play a five mana card that kills their enchantment. Cindervines I'd like against other gates decks, but what they have like all of, like those creatures. Um, then, and that yeah, but Cindervines does kill the eight eight for a little bit. Like, like these killing the eight eight is kind of nice, but you know, the eight eight's kind of slow. We need to be pretty fast. So I'm bringing in the spellbreakers. I guess Savage Stomp isn't going to actually kill stuff. Maybe a strike there. Let's do that. Ooh, Fiery Cannonade after a Gates Ablaze to wipe their creatures. Hmm. I'd rather just have more creatures to try to play. The problem with Active Treason is Active Treason, when you take the... If you just take the ram, it doesn't... The ram's only a 2-2 two -two on your side. All right, kept keeping a risky one, we need to draw some lands, but Huntmaster is awesome. And here we go. Perfect draw. Let's get another land. Not another land, but we'll just play this. Alright, Crimson. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you again so, so much. Thank you. And this is how we win the games. Like this is why we don't we don't need to like bring in like stuff to try to fight the guild summits and stuff. We just win games like this. Of course, we were on the play. Now we gotta do this on the draw. So this is why I don't really want like Cinder Vines, for example. Like I just want to be be as fast as I can. And let's try again. All right, we got the one on the play. Can we get one on the draw also? Hoping our opponent has like, you know, they stumble. Like they're, they are a, you know, four color deck. Yeah, go to Mulligan, stumble some. All right, so hopefully Commune gets red source. We have Huntmaster right away into these scavengers. Scavengers aren't the, the most exciting things to be playing immediately. You know, they're no, all right, we got red source now, so now we can actually try to find something else. Whoa. Uh, those are four spells to the bottom. There you go, Ripjaw. That's a good card.
All right, we'll see what the opponent has. They have Gates of Blaze or the Ram. That'd be great. What if they don't have a Blaze or the Ram? That'd be great. They just have neither of those. That would be great. Ugh, never mind. Not so great. It was great a little bit ago. Um... I don't, I don't want to though. Can I decline? Yeah, decline. Next turn we can play the Allosaurus with haste. I mean, we're, can't be a blaze. Really hope they don't have a blaze. Hope we draw like Carnage Tyrant. Ooh, Galta. No, Galta. 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 Alright, Hawkeye, we have one Galta and 48 cards. That seems like the perfect chance. One out of 48. Here we go. Ugh. I guess it's technically out of 44, because we know the bottom four aren't Galtas. So we can hit him for 12, down to 4. <laughs> this deck is certainly a Galta pleasure. Yeah, I kind of feel like we could have another Galta in this deck. Or even, even another Galta in the sideboard. Like, even another Galta or two in the sideboard for, like, decks that don't have, like, a lot of removal that... Or, like, you know, like, there are certainly matchups where Galta is just insane. Uh, usually against red decks. Uh, no, not the angel. 18 life now. All seven of their lands have just been gates. Uh, so much life. I mean, I'm sacrificing a Carnage Tyrant and a Ripjaw to deal like seven damage. Cause I don't, I can't actually pump up these Scavengers right now. That's just not, that's just not even a good attack. Yeah, it looks like our opponent, opponent's probably gonna get us unless we draw Galta and maybe, maybe steal this. No, we'd be sacking the one scavenger would die here and the carnage tyrant would die here so we would deal seven um but sack the scavenger and the carnage tyrant they still have six cards in hand why should we have attacked and like that's that's not a good attack for how much their life total was to lose a scavenger and a tyrant for for seven for seven damage That's not a, that's not a good attack. I know that sitting back is not good either. But, you know, like we really can't get through if we do that. I basically have if I make that attack, I have no more reach. Um Never know what, you know, we could, 
could maybe find somewhere you could find like Colossus or something, you know, like Obviously they have all these creatures now, but at the time they still only had the two creatures. Our deck's about going bigger. You know, going going real big, real fast. This our opponent's deck just goes so 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 much bigger, and so we have to be like really fast. Um we were able to do that on the on the play there a little bit ago, but on the draw here. Turn four eight eight. Kinda got us. Or I guess they had it on their turn five. Hmm. Yeah, Keswick Wolf Run. Yeah, that's what we need, is Keswick Wolf Run, right? Yeah, they had, yeah, I guess it was turn 5, 8, 8, and then turn 7, gain 14 on their part. You know, it was like 4 and 6 of our turns. Um, but yeah, deck's still, still good. I could certainly see another Galta. I haven't really been that happy or... I don't know. The Territorial Allosaurus, I guess, is okay. I could see another Galta instead of the Allosaurus, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe just another Galta in the sideboard uh, somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. These Collision Colossuses are pretty awesome, though. I kind of want to just put these Colossuses in the main deck. Like, these things are just, just awesome. Like, giving our creatures Trample and plus four, plus two and stuff. I want to just play these main. But that'd be like taking out like shock and lightning strike kind of stuff for those. Scavenger is okay, but not like not super impressive. But you kind of need it for like the, the curve filler. It's a lot better late game, like when there's stuff to eat, of course. Like as we saw like that game without the stuff to eat, it wasn't as good. Thrash threat's not that's not really a card I want. I would much rather have Savage Stomp than Thrash Threat. Because you don't really want to be playing the Threat too much, I don't think. Col yeah, Colossus is Colossus is just better than Thrash Threat. No, Domri's, Domri's good. Domri's definitely won us games and everything. Um, Domri's won us games. Yeah, I mean, this card's really... I mean, it's not bad. Like how we were using Lightning Strike sometimes to protect a creature. It kind of does the same thing. Like, Thrash doesn't actually fight, so it doesn't deal damage to your own creature. It just... It's just like a two-mana instant speed removal spell that requires you to have a dinosaur already in play. Which is that... That's kind of the problem. Both Shock and Lightning Strike are, like, good against, like, Mono Blue and stuff like that before you play your dinos. They, their removal before that. Um... But yeah, Colossus is great. Um, Thrash is good removal later. You know, Thrash is really good removal on like you know turn four, turn five, like all that kind of stuff. That's kind of the problem is those removal spells like Shock and Lightning Strike. You want them on turn one or turn two. Thrash is not good removal on turn two. Um. But yeah, you're right. Collision is just good against mono blue. How it does that, and yeah, honestly, maybe maybe the deck should just be playing Collision Colossus, especially maybe instead of Shock. Shock isn't a very valuable card because that plus four plus two and Trample is awesome. I could see like these. I could see two of these in the main deck instead of the two Shocks, uh, for sure, and maybe a third instead of one of the Lightning Strikes and go three Strike three Col. Colossus main. Um, which, 
get you some more sideboard slots. We could have like a fourth Cinder Vines for like reclamation decks. You can have like a second or third Galta. Um, for those other kind of decks. Because yeah, Collis Colossus is really, really good in this deck. So maybe that's something to try out. Uh, but um, so we went three two in that league, but really that that first loss, I think, I think if I just I think I could win that first game. I think we were uh, on our way to win that first game, and I just missed the with all the all the hype going on in the chat and everything. I, I missed the null hide attacking, and so I you know I took lethal when definitely did not need to. And I think we probably could have won that game. So really, just lost there to Gates, and and that's not a that's not a shame losing to Gates for, uh, especially that version of Gates. That version of Gates is like tuned perfectly against us with playing all of the Rams and the Colossus's main that you don't always see, uh, and also had that Angel in there too, which you don't always see that either. Um, you know, nothing. You know, you just gotta tip your hat uh, to your opponent sometimes. But this deck's been performing really well, as you can see, like with us going 4 0 against. We went 4 0 in games against Sultai. And with that, um, I guess Lightning Strike was pretty crucial in that matchup of killing, killing Wild Growth Walker before they got to gain a bunch of life and make it big with Explorer, where, where Colossus would not have been able to do that. So actually, I. And come to think of it, that's actually that's come up quite a bit. So I actually think I like keeping the lightning strikes, but I, the two shocks, I don't really like the two shocks. I think the two shocks could be Colossuses. I think Colossus would probably um, be a better value there instead of the shocks. Um, yeah. And then if you do put two Colossus just in the main deck because they're just good against you know basically everything instead of the shocks that could um you could have like another galta to board in against uh decks where the the against matchups where the um where the board usually stalls out and stuff uh and you and you need that like really big haste dino uh, or like if you if you, like the times you need to race, like that. Um, so you could have like a second Galta there, and then maybe maybe a shock in the board for like the aggro matchups, or another lava coil in the board. Um, one of those like a shock or a lava coil. Which I guess I'd probably just rather have a lava coil. Maybe like a third lava coil in the board. You know I don't I'm not like wanting to change the deck up so much because we have had a lot of success with it but i think that could that could help out um i think colossus collision colossus is probably just a more powerful card than shock is overall because there's a good amount of times this is just even four damage upstairs just putting this on a creature that's not even blocked or anything but just doing four damage upstairs so that's an option there um so joy kind of think about that one think about that uh as an option for the deck all right so if you're watching this video later on on youtube uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there we are uh marching hard towards our 2000 subscribers there on youtube and whenever we get that we're going to have a 12 hour stream to celebrate that one but thanks for watching some Gruel Dinosaurs, and I'll see you for the next video.